Oh, good morning. I'm back on the car today. Uh, life kind of got in the way the last couple weekends between some truck repair on the plow truck and my son had a graduation party that we had to throw last weekend. So yeah, now I'm back at it. So I've taken some time. I've realigned the, uh, the doors, got those lined up really well. And I just took some uh, paint sticks, wrapped them with tape till they hit about three sixteenths, and then laid them up on the ledge there. Got them, got the bottom of that door nice and parallel, and uh, the front edge is lined up perfectly now. Repeated the process on both sides. Uh, now I'm very confident those doors are at a, a good starting point. So I'm gonna kick back a little bit here. Um, start working through the quarter panel install. Mm -hmm. I put this off long enough. It's time to get it done. Hopefully by the end of this weekend, I can be somewhere with it. Um, but so far so good. I just need to, now I got to get the tail panel in it, get that back up, mocked in place somewhat near close and then, um, look at, uh, some other things. One thing I'm a little concerned about is I've noticed that this uh, this inner uh, trunk floor drop off might get a little close to the body back here in this area. So I might have to do a little trimming and doctoring on that, refitting, just make sure it's at the right width. Uh, same on both sides, but the, the rear tail panel will kind of uh, rule the day on that. So. I'll start getting that mocked up again, and we'll go from there. Okay, I blew this quarter panel off, started punching the holes. This is gonna be a strange combination of spot welds and plug welds. So I prepped all my surfaces, punched holes where I'm gonna plug weld, and just weld through primer where I was gonna spot weld. And, you know, there's only certain places I can reach with this little spot welder that I have. And so that's where we're at. Put this on, get everything leveled back up and drew in. Everything looked pretty good. I did have to just round this corner a little bit, you know, put the grinder on it and put a little radius on it just because there was a point right here that looked like it was going to, could eventually work its way out and contact the fender. So... Other than that, these were good. Um, so now I'm gonna put this quarter back on, take the other one off, prep it, get ready to uh, start doing the pre-fit on those. Um, but yeah, just anywhere I'm noticing I need to do a little bit of work, I'll throw a piece of tape on it just so that I can chase it later. And you know, if I see a piece of tape, I know I remember I have to do something there. So that should about do it. I'm going to pop that quarter back on and move to the other side and see, if, see how it starts to fit up. And then I'll do this, repeat the process on the other side. Okay. Now, I don't want to say I threw that on there from the other side of the room, but I have to tell you, folks, if you're doing this, Follow the Juby method. That thing went on there so slick, it was scary. Um, this one fits really good. I'm, I'm super pleased with it. Um, working out the, you know, I just got it set up in there with a few clamps. Um, the other side uh, went on really good as well. I haven't pulled the bottoms in yet. Uh, but I'm, you know, that's the next step. Uh, this one went on pretty good too. The problem is when I put this in there and dropped a couple screws in it, it got really tight at the top and it's about right at the bottom, maybe just a hair fat even above 316. So I've got to revisit that. Um, height is right. I mean, the line is, would be really hard to see anything wrong with that I'll throw some tape on it and get a better video of it in a little bit um, but here's one problem I did run into 
and I'm gonna have to call for some support on this one. Um, so if I'm measuring from this corner down to this surface, I get 0.899 inches. And I did have to slit this a little bit to get this pulled up tight. And it pulled up pretty tight. I, I got a little bit of a, a fat area right through here on both sides. It matches up great down here. It matches up great all the way through here. But then it kind of bulges a little bit. So I think I just got to... Got to tap that in, do some alteration. Problem is, this side, when I measure from here down, is 0.75 inches. So that's over an eighth of an inch difference. I got to believe the trunk is going to fit really strange. So I think what I'm going to do is reach out to John at Vinyl Village Garage. He, is, uh, he can give me some measurements right off the Firebird. And, you know, he's super, super helpful guy. Uh, either that or Lewis at First Gen Garage. Um, either one of those guys will probably shoot me that measurement really quick. But I, my problem is I don't know which one's right. Uh, I could make them one way or I could make it the other way. But it does look like I've still got to settle down this side of the car a little bit, too and to get that door gap back so i've got a little bit of tweaking to do but i'm telling you overall i can't believe how well that quarter went up on there it just it's spooky good um i did have to roll out this lip a little bit and I, you know, i've still got to smooth it but i had to roll out the lip on the inner fender well a little bit so that it because it was qu quite an angle coming in this way and this, of course, is fairly flat. Didn't like it. So other than that, these things went on really nice. Um, you know, this is just the pre-fit up, of course. It's not, not ready to for prime time yet, but just kind of figuring out where we're at. Um, that was just the first thing I ran into. And it's, it's a little weird because if I space this one up, I'm going to have a gap here that I could conceivably pull the flange down a little bit, get it to get it to, to work out a little better. Um, but it's a pretty nice gap all the way around here. I mean, it gets a little fat right there, but it's not stupid. I'm, I haven't even put a clamp in that corner yet. So I think I could pull that in really nice. But I think what that indicates is this surface is going downhill well, that surface is either flat or going uphill here, which will make things a challenge. So I've got to get with them, find out what the right measurement is, um, see if he can't help me out a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. And I think I'm going to call it a day. I got way further today than I had hoped. Um, but it is coming together really nice. Next steps are... Well, I've got to do a little bit of more pre-work on these. I got a little bit of a, you got to work that radius in a little better. And there's a little nipple that sits out on that right in here that just needs to get flattened out a bit, but it's, it's pretty damn good. I mean, it's really good. This line is right on. Um, got to figure out what to do about this little bulge right here. But I think the, the solution to that is just you know, just work it in with the with the mallet or the body hammer. And just slowly work it and get it get it so it's flushed up. And then when I put in the seam sealer, that'll all be great. You can see it better from here on that side. You can see where that little bulge right through here sticks out. It's just the stamping. I mean, there's it doesn't quite match the panel real well right there because the panel has a nice you know nice uniform arch through here. It's it's nice, the, the tail panel. So anyway, that's uh, that's about it for right now. Uh, I'm going to call it a night, go down and let the dog out and get ready for dinner. So um, yeah, pretty happy with that so far. I have to say that that went on nice. I mean, I haven't you know, got them out of the trunk deck and the filler panel, and but everything so far is really, really coming into it nicely. So, pretty excited.
morning. Ready to get back after this this today. Uh, spoke to, emailed John at uh, Vinyl Village Garage. Big thanks, John. Got back to me in like, you know, 20 minutes as usual. <laughs> and uh, told me that the distance here should be roughly seven eighths of an inch, just a hair under, but this is a hair over. Um, but I think I can flatten this out enough in here to make that work. Um, so this side is pretty close. I don't think I need to mess with it. This one I'm gonna have to cut and uh, either cut and fill or I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna try to do is just, this flange stops right here. I'm gonna try to bend it down and then rebend it at the right angle. Uh, I'm hoping that works. If it doesn't work, then I'm into, into redoing it. So I'm gonna blow this back off here real quick and do it. Um, I threw some tape on the body line. I didn't do a great job. I always end up with a hump right here. But threw some tape on the body line, and this is very close. Uh, it looks very straight. Up here, however, I'm still tight at the top. Took the laser, went around, checked a bunch of points, and this, this whole chassis is extremely level right now. The other door gap is perfect, so I don't really want to drop this shackle on this side because if I do that then I'm going to end up twisting the back of the body and I, I just I have to believe that's going to be worse so I'm going to end up I believe I'm going to end up splitting this here you know probably down to about here as much as I hate to do this I'm, I'm gonna have to anyway I'll split that move it back just a hair re-weld it and um, just do the best I can with that. I, I mean, I really hate to cut that brand new panel, but I don't see much choice here. Um, I don't see any other way to get that to pull back without, you know, cocking the whole thing down in the rear. And that's just something I, I've worked very, very hard to keep all this level and straight. Um, so I just, I, that just rubs me wrong. So I, I don't think that's the, the solution I want to go for. So I'm going to try uh, to just, I, I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to keep going because I can close the door. It's just too tight. Um, but I'm going to keep going until everything's a little more finalized. Maybe something else will help me with that um, as I start to tie this in or something. I don't know. Um, We'll see, but anyway, I just wanted to get back on that, fitting that up. I'm gonna pop that off there now, see if I can't redo that flange, get it a little taller. Uh, again, thank you, John, at Vinyl Village Garage, if you guys haven't checked him out. He is a uh, great resource for Firebird stuff. So anyway, gonna pop that off now, keep going, and see what else I need to do. All right, turned out that was pretty easy. Um, I was able to straighten that out, hammer it flat, and then rebend it at the proper, proper depth. Um, I'm pretty close now. So, you know, it's gonna need a little body work, but like Juby says, you gotta leave something for the body man. Unfortunately, I'm the body man. Uh, so then I popped this off, went ahead, prep the edges with weld through and uh, get this ready to go I uh, just saw one other edge I haven't done yet um, but I'll pop this back on and then we'll be ready to start doing some more final fit up on this these quarters and getting everything aligned just right but so far I'm super pleased other than that edge it looks like I might have to split Although I did push on a little bit when I was taking it off and there is some give there. So I, I may have something yet to give there. So I don't know, I'm, I'm still hopeful. Anyway, I can continue on. All right, good morning. So yesterday I spent some time, I pulled and sucked in the bottoms of my quarters. Those came out beautiful. Got pretty much sorted out up here. Although I just got to do my final fit up, get everything out to the right location. That all worked out pretty well. Threw the trunk deck on, um, and a little wrapped around the axle on this. I've got a, I got some, some work to do yet here. 
um, and I'll show you what the problem is in a second. Um, but yeah, so that was progressing. So here's the issue. Get this out of the way. I have pulled this up to a point. I, I messed around, messed around with the trunk hinges, trying to get that to the right level. But although it seems right in the middle, this area here is very high and there's just no way you can get the trunk deck up that high. So this has got to get sucked down somehow and I'm not exactly sure how to do that just yet. I think what I need to do is put back in the, um, the brace that runs down underneath this bit so that I can pull all this down to it and see if I can't get it flatter that way. Um, this here seems to be a problem, or this may be the problem. Like I have this attached to a hard point underneath here, but it's angled up. I'm wondering if that is just lazy and that needs to be flatter in here, which would in turn pull all of that down. If that's the case, quarter's gonna come off to fix that. I mean, I dicked around with the hinge locations, I rolled them up, I did everything I could to get them in the right location. Um, but it was just the best I could do. And it, I just I just wasn't getting anywhere. Um, so I spent quite a bit of time fussing with that. You can see up here, I kind of split the difference with the filler plate panel. I'm still not entirely happy with the gap. But this arch here is horrible. Um, this, I, I'm going to have to build this out. I see no other way to fix this. This is going to have to be built out because my end is lined up very nicely. So this is kind of where it all needs to be. Once this gets pulled down, I'll know better. Um, but this definitely needs to come down. And I may need to take the quarter off to do it just to get because now that I look at it from that angle, it looks like this being sloped down here is the problem. If this was pulled up flat, all of this would come down better. We're not talking about a small amount here either. I mean, that's, that's three-eighths of an inch, maybe, maybe a quarter. But all of this in here is, is starting from about here all the way up through to here is very high. Very high. The other thing I've noticed is this inner flange here is quite low. I think I've got to try to raise this up again, you know, get under here with the porter power or something and kind of work that up. If you remember when I pulled this apart, this package tray was bent down through here. I, I thought I pulled it up good. The other thing I don't love is everything seems to line up really good to this quarter right up until here and then you can see let's see if i can get you in here then you can see this edge here on the bottom is trailing down and it trails down to right in here and then again i'm back trying to pull it up again so i think what i need to do is and you can see i took a few tries at that when I get to the point where I'm going to final fit this, I'm going to pull this pa this filler panel so it has the proper gap. So it's 3 16 through here. But I get, I'm not going to do that until after I get this sucked down to where it's supposed to be. Because as it sits right now, that side's better. That I will say. Um, but not great. It still needs to come down. This side's atrocious, but... The, the quarter clearly goes up right here like and you can feel it right through here starting low you, know, you kind of expect that to just fade down and it's quite high so I don't know what I have to do here I may end up even if it gets really bad I may have to end up having to slit it right here split it and push that down to try to get it to go but I will get it to go it just you know, it's you, you start thinking of a hundred different ways to adjust on that and not loving any of them. So, um, 
But the first thing I notice is I kind of feel like this should have been flat through here. And I feel like because this is at a significant angle this way, if that was rolled up, I feel like a lot of my problems would go away. So I may have to pull the quarter out, see if I can't roll that up some, work that problem, and just keep working the issue. Um, that's probably the right way to start. That one over there, looking at it from this angle, is significantly flatter. So I may have just stumbled on it. Sometimes it helps to talk things through. I know you guys can't talk back, but, you know, leave your comments. Uh, yeah, then I'm going to continue on. But before I do that, I'm going to get my rear fitted up. My uh, tail panel has got to be cleaned up just a little bit more. I've got, you know, this isn't at the right spacing through here. But when I tried to pull this under, it pushed this under too much so I think I got to slow it up a little bit more here trim this so that I don't I'm not double lapping underneath this bit and then once that kind of rolls in it'll it'll roll in nice like this one this one is not a problem but and I may you know may want to level this out a little bit too once I get the the angle right but this whole thing was was really severely cocked in this way so, you know, per amazing metal works, you know, you just, because this, it gives you some slop right here because of this slit, you can roll that in and you just clamp it here and it'll pull it back down in. So I know what to do there. Everything else is coming along really nicely. These pulled in beautifully. Once I suck that up in, everything's going to be great. Um, I've got to figure out where that's hitting. I could stand to go in a little tighter there, but I'm close, very close. This one over here, again, I'm very close, but it looks like uh, I might have gone too far. This one looks like it's too tight. Yep, it is. I got to let off that strap a bit, uh, but overall, not bad. I do seem to be getting better here. I pulled back with a strap on the top of this door. Um, almost acceptable now so just you know getting everything rolled in and fitted properly is half of the game uh, my inner fender wells seem to fit a lot better now that I rolled those up under a little bit you know the inner fender wells the angle is down like this right and these are flat so you know that just tells you you gotta you gotta roll those up a bit get it all where it needs to be and then I can start working it but so far not bad I mean these quarters just need a little love I think I think once I figure it out from there and putting this brace back in that runs through here should give me more support and allow me to hold that up better so you can see where I drilled them out down there and took them off I'll leave off the the vertical piece for the shaker bracket so that I can get in here and work all this. But I think that's needed to make all of this come together at this point. So that's what I'm going to try to do next. And we'll see how it goes. I'll bring you back when I get more to show. Okay. Blew this baby all back apart. Um, I realized that part of my problem was this little wing here on both sides and the cross piece were all too low so because they were crushed down so I disassembled it took those off pulled these forward a little bit just enough to fit the the quarters better uh, I think this is gonna work a lot better so yeah every time you once in a while you got to go backwards to go forwards so here we are I'll revamp that Reweld that in, get that located properly so everything jives right. Pouring again. Might have to stop working on this car and start building an arc. But we'll get to that. Um, yeah. So hopefully this will help me pull this together and 
I got found a couple of broken spot welds over there I got to touch up. Then I will come back over here, put in that cross brace, put the proper arch in that, make sure it's proper before I get it in. Should be a lot easier to bend out on the bench and get it arched properly. Hopefully, I'll just use my uh, filler panel as the guide for that. Um, but I, I've gone through with a laser, made sure this point was the was higher on both sides now as to match the quarter. And I also went through and measured this angle back to my reference point so that I could, you know, verify that this thing was spot on. So I think I'm pretty good shape. I'm going to just take a few more measurements and then spot weld some stuff up. Okay, this is what I ended up having to do to make this all fit right. So this arch right here was not quite lining up properly with the with the quarter panel. It was too far back. Okay. So and it was also clocked down a little bit. So I ended up separating the middle piece, put got the arch back right on that. I haven't put that back in yet. But then once you did that, this piece was all out of whack. So I ended up having to remove this because this is where the back support goes for the quarter panel, uh, just above the hinge and uh, to the right and left of the hinge, outside of the hinge. And ultimately I found that if I took this out and just kind of after I got that curvature adjusted right, then put this back in to match the quarter, I ended up much better over here. Um, you can see I also flatten this return just a hair but once you get that in there and pull down this is the constraining point so I will before I finalize all of that I will put that back in get everything back in with the trunk screw this in probably temporarily and then once I have everything lined up where I want it and I can get this this bulge down I think I'll be in good shape so that's where what I ended up doing to fix this problem because this once I pulled that forward this needed to come forward so it wasn't just a matter of separating that ear I had to take the whole thing off so I could move it forward uniform and now it's looking good so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that's all playing out so I'm just gonna keep putting this all back together and I'll bring you back when I have something else here but ultimately this is just something I have not seen with convertibles, especially if you're doing a full body build, um, yeah, you, you, you do have to, just because the there's so many things going on there and everything else was fitting so well, I just, I didn't want to compromise up there. So ultimately I ended up just pulling that thing back forward a little bit. At some point it had gotten bent down um, pretty badly in the middle. I tried to straighten it in place, but that it's just a bad idea. It comes apart so easy. Once it's all apart, you, you've got everything in your hands. You can put this thing right back together the way it should be. So just uh, just that word of advice is kind of what I've run into there. So uh, again, just separate out this rear support, pull that, then you can put that back in. Once you get this arch right, I'll put the quarter up there, put a strap on the bottom, pull it forward till it matches, then put this back in to, to match. So that's the idea. Well, that was a lot of work. I spent most of the day breaking down the inner structure in the back here, hoping to correct for a number of things. One, to get this flange to line up with the body right here in the back of the quarter. That looks great now. This all lines up great now. I've got good contact with the flange all the way down through. The arch is right. But then we still have this. We, we, this is really off. And I don't get it. So I'm going to have to put some questions out there to and Juby and John and Lewis and Ken at Paradise Bay just see what I can find out because I mean this is supposed to be this is supposed to be one of the quote OER 
show quality trunks. I mean, look at this edge right here. It's, I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up or not, but it, it's got more hooks and jinks in it than, I don't know. But everything else lines up good now. I'm still a little forward on this side, but I just can't get the back of this trunk to come up. Um, I've tried messing with the hinges, although I haven't tried it since I put it all back together. I just saw this and got quite discouraged. Um, that side appears to be worse than this side, but I will say I think that's in the trunk. This side, the trunk doesn't seem to trail off as much as that side. I've still got the old trunk. It's kind of rusty and nasty. I think I might throw that up here just for a little bit of a sanity check. And because if that one fits right and this one doesn't, I'm going to be pissed. Um, but yeah, if, if anybody's got any input on this, please chime in, comment below. Uh, I don't know what to make of this. So, you know, the convertibles are different. There's just a lot going on in the back there and a lot of the, the underpinning and all the the, under, the interior bracing is all different from the uh, sedans, from the coupes. So, um, yeah, but everything else I've got fitting really good now. I'm down to the trunk. So, like I said, I'm going to go grab the old one. What the hell? It's late Sunday afternoon. You can see the race is on. Um, I'm thinking at least help me sleep at night if that trunk doesn't fit any better then I'll know one thing if it fits a lot better I'm gonna be wild um, and then I'll have to figure out how to either flare this one up at the edges or something but I've, I've never seen them like this before so and, and the hinge point just seems low still so anyway that's what I'm gonna try I'll bring you back when I get the other one on okay so this trunk is the old trunk. She's a beauty. It is low all the way across, but it matches the body line. So this one doesn't have nearly as much, it's got a big dent right there, but this one doesn't have nearly as much arch as the new one. So I guess that answers part of my problem is work that arch out. The other part is I still got to bring up, even if I get the arch worked out, I'm still low in the front. So I've got to work that out too. So I'm going to pop this back off and noodle on this for a while. So, but it looks like primarily I've just got to work some of the arch out of the new trunk deck and then try to raise the hinges a bit so anyway that looks like it's about it for this week